This is a question that I'm very curious about, one that cuts to the heart of the beliefs of all those who would call themselves Christians, or all those who ever called themselves Christians, even among those that are no longer practiced. And that is, why does blood sacrifice make anything better? To, to be a Christian is to say that you believe in the redemptive value of blood sacrifice, that Jesus went to the cross, shed his precious blood, and gave his life so that we might all attain salvation and forgiveness of God. So what I would like to ask is, how does that work exactly? How does blood sacrifice make anything better or make up for all the things that we've all done wrong in our lives and provide any kind of satisfactory resolution to that? Could you please explain the mechanics to me? Because it seems kind of odd to me that we would agree that a tribe that took a virgin and tossed her into a volcano to appease the wrath of the volcano gods, that that's absolutely ridiculous, it's absurd, it's cruel, it's barbaric, and so forth, and yet you would celebrate taking a pure-hearted virgin, beating the crap out of them, and then nailing them to a cross at the end of this movie, and you would celebrate that in this, this long sadomasochistic movie that Mel Gibson produced. Could you please explain to me exactly why it is that this particular blood sacrifice made anything better and what the mechanics are behind that? I'd really appreciate that. Good luck.